All right, today I wanted to talk about flax seeds and how to grind them and why grind them. This is something that I put in my smoothies or my porridge in the morning every single day. And why? Because it's a huge source of omega-3 fatty acids. These are essential fats that your body needs to be healthy. And flaxseed is one of the best sources of omega-3 because the important thing to remember in omega-3 is the ratio with omega-6. Those are the two essential fatty acids, but what happens is we usually get too much omega-6. So if you're eating a lot of nuts and seeds and whole grains and beans and legumes and stuff like that, you're getting a lot of both. But if you're not having flaxseed or another rich source of omega-3, you're probably hovering a little bit high. So a good ratio is four times as much omega-6 as omega-3. Flaxseed is 0.3. So what that does is it helps offset if you have too much omega-6. So a normal ratio would be somewhere around six or seven, and a standard American diet is somewhere around 14, 15, even 16. So getting something concentrated in omega-3 like flax, perfect. So 0.3, that means there is more omega-3 than omega-6, is fantastic. So flax is one source, chia seeds are another. They are also a ratio of 0.3. Anything four or under is good. And anything that's below four is gonna help offset if you're a little bit high. And then another great source, hemp seeds, which are about three. So they have about three times as much omega-6 as omega-3. So they can help offset, but I really love having chia or flax seeds because they are so high in omega-3 that they really help offset that omega-6 ratio. And chia seeds are also wonderful because they're high in calcium. Now I often talk about flax because it is easier to find than chia seeds, and it's a lot cheaper, but I really love chia seeds. So if you can find them, they help boost your calcium intake for the day, which is really important and is difficult to get from other foods. So when you're eating flax seeds, you do need to grind them because flax is a very hard seed that our bodies can't break down very well. Chia seeds, you don't need to grind them because you can soak them and they'll be digested just fine. Hemp seeds are super soft. They don't have a shell. They're not actually seeds. They're just um, part of the plant and they will be totally fine. No need to grind them at all. But in order to be able to digest these flax seeds, we need to grind them. And some people buy them ground, which is fine. If you're gonna not eat flax seed, I'd rather you get some ground stuff and just use it. But it is better to grind it yourself because flax seeds will go bad fairly quickly. And so if you buy them whole like this and then grind them yourself, you're gonna get them much fresher than if you buy ground. And it's super important once you grind them to keep them in the fridge. So if you buy them ground, put them in the fridge right away. So some ways to grind them. Now, what I used to use was a coffee grinder, which is fine, but it takes a long time because you can only fit so much in there. And if you are in a household that also grinds coffee beans, then you would have to clean this out every time. I'm lucky I don't have to do that. I would just use this for flax, but it does take a long time. I have to do it in batches. And when I had a magic bullet, I would use that to grind up my flax seed, which was great as well, because you can just put it in the single serving container, grind it up, and then change the lid and put that in the fridge. But I now have a twister jar for my blend tech, which allows me to grind flax in the perfect quantity. Now you don't want to grind too much at once because like I said, it does start to go bad fairly quickly, but you can grind enough for say a week or maybe two weeks. And I will put a tablespoon of this in my smoothie or my porridge every day. So that's going to be just fine. So it doesn't even need the full 50 seconds because after 20 it's 
really well ground up. And then all I do is put it into my mason jar. And then what I like to do is keep a scoop with it. So then in the morning, all I do is take out a scoop, put it in my smoothie or my porridge, and I'm good to go. So I just put a lid on this and keep that in the fridge. So that is how and why you grind flax seeds. If you want to get a blend tech, there's a link under this video that will get you $100 off plus free shipping. If you want some ideas on how to incorporate these wonderful omega-3 rich foods and get the right ratio, as well as a nutritionally balanced meal plan, you'll also find a link under this video to a free three-day meal plan that I put together for you. I packed that plan full of some of my favorite recipes for all the meals of the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, and it has more than smoothies, I promise. So leave me a thumbs up if you grind your flax seeds, and let me know what your favorite source of omega-3 is in the comments below. And go have an omega-3 rich day.